so this is what we are working with today. Yeah. I got two sanding blocks. I don't even know if it's the right grit, but whatever, we're going with it. I got two painting brushes, two of these, so we can work on either side of the crib, some gloves, and then this paint. You go there, literally, um, I meant to vlog it, but there was such a long line and I was ready to just get in and out. So you um, obviously have a huge wall, you choose what color you want, you go to the person and then um, you choose a finish. And then there's several different like um, brands. And this is the one that I went with because it is uh, low chemical emissions and a whole bunch of other things. So first we are going to start by sanding the entire crib. This is only removing the gloss from the espresso. We are not removing the espresso color. It is not necessary to do that. Then I'm just taking a cloth and wiping down the dust from sanding. So we began by painting a thin, even coat all over the entire crib. Let that dry for an hour, and then we go in with our second coat. Now that has a two hour dry time in between each coat until you get to the desired whiteness. This finish is very glossy, so it's super pretty. We did about three to four coats and maybe even another one while he wasn't watching. It turned out super pretty. It looks like a brand new crib. It was super easy to do and I loved it. On top of that, it is kid friendly. It does not have any paint smell. As you can tell, we're painting inside. The guy at Home Depot said that it has low VOC, which means the toxins that are, or the chemicals that are in regular paint are not in this one. That's how we painted the crib from espresso to white. It was super easy to do, super affordable. I'm going to probably start painting a bunch more furniture around the house because um, it was really that fun. Hope you enjoy. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure you hit that bell for notifications because I will be dropping more videos.